Paha biçilmez bu şehre yaptığımız böylesine bu büyük eser işte bunun için adını İstanbul verdik. Hayırlı olsun. After more than 60 years of service, Istanbul's Atatürk Airport has shut down. And for many of those who worked here, it's been emotional. Arkadaşlar, paleti sevpay alalım. Tugay Işarar is on his last shift at Atatürk Airport. He's been working for the Turkish Airlines cargo department for the last 10 years as the head of the posting department. It has been a long and amazing journey for me at Atatürk Airport. I spent many nights here on the runway. I'm looking forward to starting a new life at Istanbul Airport. Atatürk Airport was among one of the top 10 busiest airports in the world in terms of passenger traffic in 2018. Last year, it served 68 million passengers, yet officials say the airport was not able to meet growing demand. The last flight out of Atatürk Airport was a historic moment for all the airport staff and passengers. I feel that it will be a great movement for Turkey to move into the new airport because I know that Turkey is international hub. And with the last flight out, it was time to finalize shifting all the necessary equipment to the new airport. According to Turkish Airlines, this is the biggest logistical operation in aviation history, with more than 10,000 pieces of equipment being transferred from Atatürk Airport to the new Istanbul Airport. In a 45-hour window, with main roads between the two airports closed, officials said the 45,000 tons of equipment was transferred successfully, and Istanbul Airport has now taken over all the operations of Atatürk Airport. In its current phase, it can already accommodate up to 90 million passengers a year. Once complete by 2027, at a projected cost of $12 billion, it will be one of the busiest airports in the world. Six runways and four terminals will eventually be able to accommodate 200 million passengers a year, certainly challenging hub rivals in the Gulf and even in the world. The new airport is among many of the infrastructure mega projects built by the ruling AK Party. Others include new highways, mosques, ports, bridges and tunnels, projects the government is hoping will take Turkey's economic growth to the next level. Back at Atatürk Airport, Tugay is making a farewell speech to some of his colleagues. Many will continue to be stationed at Atatürk until all of the Turkish Airlines cargo planes and other equipment are transferred to the Istanbul airport, a process which is expected to take two years. He's upset that he's leaving his friends behind, but excited at the new journey that awaits him. Omar Kavlan, Straight Talk.